Hello students, in this video, we will be discussing about concepts and formulas related to thermal properties of matter, mainly related to thermal expansion of solids. These formulas will be useful for quick revision while preparing for competitive exams such as JE mains, NEET, MSET, etc. I am Kamlakar, lecturer in physics. Let us start with basics. Most of the solids expand on heating, but some solids contract on heating. Examples for such solids, rubber, cast iron, type metal, etc. Solids have three types of expansions, namely linear expansion, aerial expansion, and volume expansion. Coefficient of linear expansion of a material of a solid is defined as the ratio of increase in length to original length for one degree rise of temperature. Coefficient of linear expansion of solid in the form of rod is given as alpha is equals to L2 minus L1 by L1 into T2 minus T1, where L1 is length of rod at temperature T1 degree centigrade, L2 is length of rod at temperature T2 degree centigrade. The formula for coefficient of linear expansion can also be expressed as alpha is equals to delta L by L into delta T. Same formula can be also expressed as delta L is equals to L alpha delta T or L2 is equals to L1 into 1 plus alpha into delta T. If a rod is shortened on cooling, then change in length is given as E is equals to minus L alpha delta T. The values of alpha depend upon nature of material and scale of temperature. SI unit of alpha is per Kelvin and CGS unit of alpha is per degree centigrade. Alpha in per degree centigrade is equals to alpha into 9 by 5 in per degree Fahrenheit. Next one, coefficient of aerial expansion or coefficient of superficial expansion. Coefficient of aerial expansion of a solid in the form of a plate is given as beta is equals to A2 minus A1 by A1 into T2 minus T1 where A1 is area of plate at temperature T1 degree centigrade, A2 is area of plate at temperature T2 degree centigrade. The formula for quotient of aerial expansion can also be expressed as beta is equals to delta A by A into delta T or delta A is equals to A beta delta T or A2 is equals to A1 into 1 plus alpha into delta T. Next topic. Coefficient of volume expansion or coefficient of cubical expansion. Coefficient of volume expansion of a solid in the form of a cube is given as gamma is equals to V2 minus V1 by V1 into T2 minus T1, where V1 is volume of cube at temperature T1 degree centigrade, V2 is volume of cube at temperature T2 degree centigrade. The formula for coefficient of volume expansion can also be expressed as gamma is equals to delta V divided by V into delta T. Also, delta V is equals to V gamma delta T. It can also be expressed as V2 is equals to V1 into 1 plus gamma into delta T. Next topic. The relation between alpha, beta and gamma is given as alpha is to beta is to gamma is 1 is to 2 is to 3. This relation can also be expressed as alpha by 1 is equals to beta by 2 is equals to gamma by 3 or beta is equals to 2 alpha and gamma is equals to 3 alpha. Also, beta is equals to 2 by 3 gamma. For isotropic crystal, gamma is equals to 3 alpha. That is, we can write this equation as alpha plus alpha plus alpha. That is, for an isotropic crystal, the values of alpha along x-axis, y-axis and z-axis are same. But for an anisotropic crystal, the values of alpha along x-axis, y-axis and z-axis are different. Hence, for an anisotropic crystal, gamma is equals to alpha x plus alpha y plus alpha z. Alpha is given as alpha x plus alpha y plus alpha z whole thing divided by 3. Beta is given as 2 by 3 into alpha x plus alpha y plus alpha z. Next topic, variation of density of solid with temperature. 
when temperature of solid is increased then density of solid decreases let d1 is equals to density of solid at temperature t1 degree centigrade d2 is equals to density of solid at temperature t2 degree centigrade gamma is quotient of volume expansion of solid then gamma is equals to d1 minus d2 whole thing divided by d2 into t2 minus t1 also d2 is equals to d1 divided by 1 plus gamma into delta t if d1 is equals to d0 that is equal to density of solid at 0 degree centigrade dt is equals to density of solid at t degree centigrade then dt is equals to d0 divided by 1 plus gamma t also dt is approximately equals to d0 into 1 minus gamma t note the relation dt approximately equals to d0 into 1 minus gamma t is not commonly used because it is only an approximate relation next topic applications of thermal expansion of solids first one platinum wire is used to fuse in a glass because alpha glass is approximately equal to alpha platinum iron rods are used in concrete structures because alpha of iron is approximately equals to alpha of concrete pyrex glass is preferred to ordinary glass in manufacturing test tubes because alpha of pyrex glass is approximately equal to 1/3 of alpha of ordinary glass measuring tapes are made of inverse steel because inverse steel has very low alpha value hence it does not expand or contract appreciably with change in temperature alpha of inverse steel is equal to 0.6 into 10 power minus 6 per degree centigrade telephone wires are loosely stretched on poles so as to allow free contraction in winter season holes and cavities in metal objects will expand on heating a small gap is left between two iron rails so as to allow free expansion of rails in summer next topic bimetallic strip this is also known as compound bar it consists of two rectangular metal strips usually one is made of brass and other is made of steel both strips are of equal length and are riveted together to form a bimetallic strip the principle of bimetallic strip is different metals will expand to different extent for same rise in temperature case 1 since alpha brass is greater than alpha steel for same rise in temperature brass expands more than steel hence bimetallic strip will bend with metal of greater alpha on outside case 2 since alpha brass is greater than alpha steel when cooled to same temperature then brass contracts more than steel hence bimetallic strip will bend with metal of greater alpha on inner side note if d is thickness of bimetallic strip then radius of arc formed by bimetallic strip is given as r is equals to d divided by alpha 2 minus alpha 1 into delta t where alpha 2 is quotient of linear expansion of brass alpha 1 is quotient of linear expansion of steel delta t is change in temperature next topic gain or loss of time by a pendulum clock time period of oscillation of a pendulum clock is given as t is equals to 2 pi into under root l by g in summer as temperature increases the length of pendulum in clock increases as t is directly proportional to root l the time period increases that is time taken to complete one oscillation increases hence clock goes slow in winter as temperature decreases the length of pendulum in clock also decreases as t is directly proportional to root l the time period decreases that is time taken to complete one oscillation decreases hence clock goes fast therefore gain or loss of seconds by seconds pendulum in one day is given as half alpha delta t into 86400 where alpha is equal to coefficient of linear expansion of pendulum delta t is change in temperature 86400 represents number of seconds in one day next topic thermal stress 
consider a rod fixed between two rigid walls so that it cannot expand when temperature of rod is increased when temperature of rod is increased then stress will develop in the rod such stress is called as thermal stress the thermal stress developed in the rod is given as thermal stress is equals to y alpha delta t where y is young's modulus of material of rod alpha is coefficient of linear expansion of rod delta t is rise in temperature force required to prevent rod from expanding on heating is given as f is equals to y alpha delta t next topic pressure to be applied on a cube from all sides so as to prevent it from expanding on heating when temperature of cube is raised then pressure to be applied on the cube from all sides so as to prevent it from expanding is p is equals to k into gamma into delta t where k is bulk modulus of material of cube gamma is coefficient of volume expansion of cube delta t is rise in temperature next topic condition for two rods to expand equally at all temperatures let l1 be length of first rod alpha1 be coefficient of linear expansion of first rod l2 be length of second rod alpha2 be coefficient of linear expansion of second rod let delta l be initial difference between lengths of two rods at temperature t1 degree centigrade let delta l remains same on heating rods to temperature t2 degree centigrade in such a case condition for two rods to expand equally at all temperatures is l1 alpha 1 is equals to l2 alpha 2 note in this case alpha 1 is greater than alpha 2 and l1 is less than l2 next topic condition for two rods of different materials to have same expansion at all temperatures let alpha 1 be greater than alpha 2 and l1 be less than l2 for two rods of different materials to have same expansion at all temperatures their initial lengths and their coefficient of linear expansions must satisfy the relations l1 is equals to x into alpha 2 whole thing divided by alpha 1 minus alpha 2 l2 is equals to x alpha 1 whole thing divided by alpha 1 minus alpha 2 where x is equals to l2 minus l1 next topic composite rod a composite rod is made by joining two rods of different materials and of same cross sectional area let l1 be length of first rod alpha 1 be coefficient of linear expansion of first rod l2 be length of second rod alpha 2 be coefficient of linear expansion of second rod when temperature is increased by delta t then effective increase in length of composite rod is given as delta l is equals to l1 alpha 1 plus l2 alpha 2 whole thing into delta t instead of two different rods if a single rod is to be used to produce same effect then effective coefficient of linear expansion of such rod is given as alpha effective is equals to l1 alpha 1 plus l2 alpha 2 whole thing divided by l1 plus l2 next topic rod buckles at its center consider a rod with a crack at its center it buckles as the result of rise in temperature delta t then the rise y at the center of rod is given as y is equals to l not into square root of alpha delta t divided by 2 where l not is initial length of rod before temperature rise alpha is equals to coefficient of linear expansion of rod delta t is rise in temperature next topic two rods of length l2 and having coefficient of linear expansion alpha 2 are connected freely to the third rod of length l1 and of coefficient of linear expansion alpha 1 to form an isosceles triangle as shown in figure the arrangement is supported on a knife edge at midpoint of l1 and the rod of length l1 is horizontal as shown in figure even after rise in temperature 
the separation between apex of isosceles triangle and knife edge remains constant if l1 by l2 is equals to 2 into square root of alpha 2 by alpha 1 next topic a rod is pivoted at its end and is rotated in a horizontal plane and its temperature is changed let l be length of rod omega 1 be angular velocity let alpha be coefficient of linear expansion of rod the temperature of rod is increased by delta t then in order to conserve angular momentum the angular velocity of rod becomes omega 2 is equals to omega 1 divided by 1 plus 2 alpha delta t next topic a meter scale is graduated at t1 degree centigrade but is used at t2 degree centigrade let tv represents true value or actual value sr is equals to scale reading at temperature t1 degree centigrade let metal scale gives correct reading if metal scale is used at temperature t2 degree centigrade then correction is to be applied this correction is given as delta c is equals to l alpha delta t where l is correct length of the object alpha is quotient of linear expansion of metal scale delta t is rise in temperature case one when t2 is greater than t1 then metal scale expands and separation between its divisions increases then absurd scale reading is less than true value hence true value is equals to scale reading plus correction case two when t2 is less than t1 then metal scale contracts and separation between its division decreases then absurd scale reading is larger than true value hence true value is equals to scale reading minus correction next topic two rods of different materials are clamped together at one end and other ends are free to expand let initially both rods have equal lengths at temperature t1 degree centigrade let alpha 2 be greater than alpha 1 on rising temperature to t2 degree centigrade both rods expand as quotient of linear expansion values are different for both rods they expand unequally let delta x be difference between their final lengths then delta x is equals to l into alpha 2 minus alpha 1 into delta t hope you like this video click on like and subscribe share this video with your friends thanks for watching video